All right. Hey guys, it's me, Sebastian. That was freaking weird. Hey everyone, it's Sebastian, and a lot of y'all have been asking for me to do a Q&A video. Um, I posted on my Instagram for some people to ask some questions, and I'm going to answer them to the best of my ability. I don't want this video to be too long and too boring, so we'll get right into it. So the most common question, first question is, when did I start singing? I started singing when I was four and a half. I like to put that half in there, four and a half years old. Um, and the way that I started... Uh, was we were at a barbecue, I guess, plate cell, and my mom was pushing me on my shoulder, and I heard this beautiful, beautiful music, and I asked her, like, hey, mom, can, can we go listen to it? And we got closer, and it ended up being a young mariachi group, and I say this in every interview, everything, everything that I do, it's that this group of kids, you know, they were from, like, the age of nine to, like, 17, and they were in traditional trajes, real basic trajes, but to me, they just looked like angels. And that's something that has always stuck with me. I went home, I said, hey, dad, I want to be a Mexican cowboy and put everything in God's hands. And now I am here where I am today. Next question, where do you see yourself in 20 years? In 20 years, I see myself with my family, settled down, um, living in a really nice house, hopefully, you know, taking care of my family and being able to support, uh, you know, further than my immediate family, like my parents, my significant other's parents, and just being able to continue seeing and act, you know, do what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, and that's having fun and sharing the gift that God gave me with the world. Next question, my most embarrassing moment. I would say my most embarrassing moment was probably, yeah, I was probably around the age of like seven years old. Um, I was supposed to be performing at the Market Square and I was on stage to perform but I had a congestion. I, I was I was sick. I had congestion in my chest and also in my in my nose. And one thing was after I sang the first song, it, it was hard, it was hard for me to continue singing. So my dad took me off stage, and I'm glad that he did for the benefit of my health, my vocal health, and just in general for me not to embarrass myself. But I think getting pulled off stage because my dad knew like oh you know we got to make sure that he's okay. I wanted to perform. I was being real stubborn, but. I think it's a good thing, but in my eyes at that age, it was kind of embarrassing. Okay, so a moment where I thought that I was going to die, it wasn't a soccer tournament. We were playing against the team, and it was second half, and the ball had came down. Or I, I was on the drive. I went for the drive. The goalie got the ball in his hands, and then he kicked it out. I started running back, and me and this, the player on the other team, we started going shoulder to shoulder for a ball, and I had pushed him. He fell on the ground, and then I started running to open space. He got up, and I guess he was kind of mad. Um, so whenever I headed the ball, he had dipped his head and hit the back of his head. Right here, I have a scar. He split my eyebrow open. Um, I hit the ground, and then he was like this on on his uh, on his knees. And I, I, I hit the ground. I was starfished. And then I rolled over, and then I got up, walked to the sidelines, and then they said that when he went like this, blood was coming out of his out of his out of his head and his hands. Um, he ended up like getting a concussion and all these stitches, but they ended up just giving me skin glue because I hate needles. I was not gonna get any stitches, so I just got glue and that helped. All right, next question. When did you start taking singing seriously? I think from the moment where my dad saw or my parents saw how much I enjoyed singing, I think that's where they, you know, thought that if I love what I'm doing, why not put my all into it? Uh, my dad always told me that if I love what I do, I will never, ever work a day in my life. And that's one thing that I live by. I literally live by that statement just because I enjoy singing. I love singing. I love acting. And I think that I've spent so much time doing it. Why not devote the rest of my life to doing what I love? Uh, but I guess when my parents started really investing their time, they were they would take me to the Cadillac bar or to the market square, and I would sing for tips. 
And at the age of five years old, six years old, I was singing for tips from like nine o'clock till midnight. And I would make good tips singing. But at the same time, it was a lot of sacrifices coming from my parents. But I think that as a parent, you should always support your kids 100% and always give them all the tools necessary to be able to be uh, very productive and very successful in what they love to do. What made me know that I wanted to pursue acting and singing, I feel that it was just the fact that I loved it so much. I think the fact that I still do love it so much is what shows my dedication towards it. Um, I've missed birthdays. I've, I've missed a lot of family things. I've spent a lot of time away from family. I've done so many, made so many sacrifices already. I think that it's one of those things where I enjoy it so much that I would not want to do anything else in the world. I do have a plan to open up businesses and to do all these other things. But at the end of the day, my main goal, my main um, happiness in life is to continue my singing and to continue my acting. These businesses that I want to run and businesses that I would like to open are just going to be another way of income, another way to, I guess, branch my, um, or spread my wings and, I guess, be happy. Because why not, right? All right, next question. This one is actually not for singing or anything, but uh, they asked what my favorite jujitsu move is. I would say, I would say that my favorite jujitsu move, uh, it just depends on, on who I'm sparring with or rolling with. And I guess also what mood I'm in. Sometimes I'll, I'll roll really passive. Sometimes, you know, I'll be a little bit more strategic. Sometimes I'll, I'll go, you know, more... Like fancy, it just depends on who I'm rolling with, whether I, I know that it's someone that I could, I guess, uh, what's that word? I could experiment, like I could try different things. I think that's one of the main things. If we learn something in class, um, it's kind of hard to pull it off, but I always like going for those things just because it lets me know whether I need to work on setting it in, whether I need to work on not telegraphing it. Like I've been working on this uh, baseball choke a lot and... I know one thing that I'm having trouble with is I, I usually hit it when I'm on bottom side control. I let people get top side and then I'll try to set it in. And then it's usually whenever I grab and I start turning, I think that I'm leaving too much space with, from my shoulder and their chest. Um, so the experienced belts, they're able to pass over my hips or to shoot their arm through. But that is one of my favorite moves right now would have to be the baseball choke or suicide choke. Uh, it just depends on where you hit it from. All right, this question is actually a very good question. I think that it's one of those things where I, I really do enjoy looking at things from a, from a future perspective. And it is in 2022, you're at the Grammys. And, or, sorry, sorry, sorry. In 2022, you're winning a Grammy. What genre is, is it in? I feel that I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh, I, I enjoy singing mariachi. That is my foundation. That is where I... I guess, put my most hard work and effort into. But with this new album that I'm going to be releasing, I am trying different things. There is not a mariachi song in this album. Sorry, I almost burped. Uh, there's not a mariachi song in this album. If anything, there's like a sireño or sureño style. There is a Latin pop song. There's like a slow bachata. And um, I think it's one of those things where I'm just trying different things. And I, I really want to see what people enjoy um, like which genres people enjoy with my voice and who knows 2022 winning a Grammy That would be an amazing thing, but I'm not too sure what genre it, it would be in All right, very last question um, This one is actually a very very important question. I think that It means a lot um, Type of burgers and type of pizza that you get so for me I like to get I think water burger is probably like one of my favorite fast food burger places um but if i'm gonna get something from whataburger i'm either getting the sweet and spicy bacon burger or like my brother says the sweet and sour bacon burger what did you just order from where you, from where wendy's. no we're not at wendy's, wendy's. What, did, what did you order say it out loud the what the what what did you order <laughs> you said sweet and sour dummy. Um, or I'm gonna be getting the patty melt. It's between those from Waterburger. Um, and pizza, gosh, I like pepperoni with mushroom. 
And then I also like the margarita pizza where it's like the basil with the tomatoes. I think it, I think it's basil, yeah. Basil with the like cherry tomatoes. And I like this is I, I know there's people who who don't like it, but I think pineapple with like um that ham on pizza is like really good. And at Mr. Gaddy's, my friends get on my freaking butt about this. At Mr. Gaddy's they have like this dessert pizza. And it's like a like an apple crumble pie, but in a pizza. It's freaking delicious. So to my friends who like I went to Mr. Gaddy's with and they were picking on me for getting it, it's delicious. Don't knock it till you try it. Um but yeah guys, thank you for watching this QA video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, uh go ahead and DM me them or, or comment them down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if this video hits a certain amount of likes, then I'll, I can make another Q&A video. But God bless y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Thank you.